Hi guys, Susanna Easdell here. Um, I'm just going to be um, showing you how I'm going to be doing some painting. So this is a um, for a um, was it a traveler's notebook size? So let me turn this off. So I just do painted that around it actually, and then I have a bit of a a mark on that side so I know to sort of lightly paint within that line there so I'm just doing a bit of a test to see whether the aircon being on is too noisy it's getting a bit warm in here now in the studio so what you do I can draw but um, this is just to make it a little easier for you guys. I mean, I'm just ugh, show you. I've got a picture of um, oh, an iron and a, a little bird that I did here. But um, I just thought maybe if you guys wanted to paint along. So I've got these gorgeous little illustrations from Doodle Designs. I've got these from. Aldi of all places uh, 2011 but if you see something that you like from a magazine or wherever you could probably um, utilize it and um, oh, I'm just look, trying to look for something to hold this down hang on a second I'm back so it's always better to hold the papers down um, yeah, if you see something from a magazine that you like, or a colouring book, whatever, you're just tracing. It's not really cheating, because you're still doing the colouring and all that kind of stuff yourself. So, um, it's all good. Now, what you do is you turn on the, on this, hopefully you'll be able to see it. Okay, where are we? Uh, this side so from there to there so I want that in the middle somewhere because I like that oh it's a bit, bit flickery sorry I might and then I'll you just sort of trace around there like this so I might turn it off and then trace it because it's a bit flickery back again probably can't see it very well but um, I have traced it and then I'll go over that there's my little pen I need to get a pen hang on a second this is a water and fade proof pigment ink uni pen it's all one of those micron it's tiny though that one so what I will do is I will trace over that with the pen and then um, you get a bit of a, a better outline and then you iron that so that it sort of stays and then when you I'm going to use watercolor or even um, Jane Davenport watercolors or I'll use some where are we um, you can use all sorts of stuff. Just acrylic paints. Here we go. This is the bottom. Here it is. Just a an old cheapy one. Just use them, and you just water them down. Or I've got Tombow markers. Oh, making a bit messier. Tombow markers. They're actually um, water. You activate them with water. So then they do this sort of thing. I haven't tried them on um, this before, but I'll see how they go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it and actually rewind. I want to see how the air conditioner um, goes. And then this might be um, sort of a quick part one tutorial. And then the next one will be showing you how um, I actually paint it. 
So hang on, I'll just show you quickly. You just trace on there over what you've done. So it gives you a bit of a, a better basis of what where you're going to go with it. Can you see it? You can barely see it. But um, yeah, I'll just give it a bit of a, a stop and then I'll, I'll do a part two. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.